This is an eight row repeat that's worked on a multiple of six stitches plus five. And I have 17 stitches here for this sample. And rows one and two are just worked in stocking stitch. So I'm gonna do those really quickly. That means that row one I knit and then row two I purl. We're not going to start making our little knots or flowers until we get to row three. And they're really easy to do. You might want to consider knitting a little more loosely than you normally do if you are a tight knitter and or use needles that have a sharp point because we're going to be working with three stitches at once and sometimes it can be a little difficult to do that if you have tight stitches on your needles. So that was rows one and two stocking stitch and now we're going to make our little knots here. This is row three and you're going to start by knitting one and now we're going to begin our repeat. We're going to make our first little knot so you want to take the next three stitches, purl them together, and if they're a little bit tight, you can just give your needle a little wiggle to help loosen them up. Purl three together, but don't take them off the left needle. Take the yarn to the back, purl those same three stitches together, or knit those same three stitches together leave them on the needle, bring the yarn to the front, and purl them together one more time. So you're purling them together, knitting them together, and purling them together before you drop them off the left needle. And there's your little knot. I'm going to knit three. Now we're going to make another little knot, same as before. I'm going to purl three stitches together and leave them on the left needle. Knit those same three stitches together and leave them on the needle still. Purl them together one more time and drop from the left needle. Knit three. Make one more knot. Purl. Knit. Purl. Oops. This is why I do not care for wood or bamboo needles. They don't allow the yarn to slide as easily as I like. There we go. And then you're just going to knit the last stitch. That was row three. Rows four through six, we're going to be working in stocking stitch again. So row four is a purl row. Row five is a knit row. Row six is a purl row. Okay, row seven, we're once again going to be making 
our little knots here. We're going to start by knitting four. And now we're going to begin our repeat. Purl three together, knit them together, and purl them together one more time, and drop from the left needle. Knit three, make another knot. And just knit to the end, or knit your last stitch. That was row seven, row eight. <laughs> row eight is just a purl row. Let me do that really quickly. I'll just be repeating those eight rows. For the pattern. Yeah. And since this is yeah. a stockinette yeah. type fabric, yeah. it's going to curl as you can see. So a border around the edge would be helpful in keeping that flat. That's it. Those eight rows make up the pattern. Oh, oh, oh.